Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, well-being, amazing events, and great people. Today I'm joined by one of those great people, the lovely Jennifer uh, Vianney from Phoenix Rising. Welcome, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure to have you here. So um, where has it all began, Jennifer, in, in, in what you do as a fitness trainer? Um, basically, it began when I was a child. I was always doing something. I was on a swim team when I was five years old, always playing sports. I have older brothers and older sister, and that was that's what we did. You know, we played out in the street. We played for school. You know, we did any kind of sport we could do. Um, over time, it changed. <laughs> you know, I grew up. I got married. A lot of things happened. I got hit by a Ford Bronco in oh 1999. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. So... That was pretty traumatic. Right. Um, a lot of injuries there. I was in physical therapy for quite a while. Still managed to get married <laughs> and divorced. But during that time, um, I had a failed IVF. So there was a lot of trauma. My weight went up. I couldn't physically do much at all. I could right. barely walk down the block. Right. And um, a friend said to me one day, let's, let's go to this personal trainer. And I said, I can never afford that. She said, no, it's a small group. And that's when I went. Uh, my friend Neil. Um, he's at, actually, I call him my younger, bigger brother because he's so much bigger than me, but younger. And he really set me on a good path and right. he made me realize that I could, um, you know, I could come back right. from all these injuries that sure. I had, all the medical issues that I had. Sure. Um, and that's what I did. And I worked with him and I actually care for his child. And that's when his wife had said to me, you know, you're great at this fitness stuff and you're great with kids, why don't, why don't you do this? And it was like, light bulb. <laughs> this is what I should have been doing because when I was a kid, I always wanted to be a teacher. I just didn't know what aspect. And here I am And And here today. you're doing it. And you're, you're working with such a valuable part of our society, which is children. Mm -hmm. And we were discussing in terms of with your tremendous experience and how many awards have you gotten? You've gotten uh, in terms oh, exactly. of special... Yeah, so with NASM, I have academic distinction based on my grades and actually going to a school wow. to attain, you know, the certification. A lot of people kind of like wow. do stuff online and then they watch YouTube and Instagram and they're like, hey, right. I'm a trainer. And it's a lot more to it than that. There's a lot of science involved. I'm sure you, you know, sure. you know. You're very, you're very humble. <laughs> so we talked about in terms of uh, the kids today in terms of obesity and based on your expertise, where do you think this is stemming from? Because kids do get out. They get some kind of activity. They're not getting enough. Uh -huh. They're not getting enough exercise. Um, countless times, my boyfriend said, oh, no, we didn't go out for recess today. It was too cold. Uh -huh. Really wasn't that cold. You right. know, they could have done it. Um, but there's video games. There's technology. There's social media. And it's just stopping. It gives everyone, like, the illusion that they're socializing and being active. But they're right. not. That's and they just, they really need it mentally, even more than physically. Right. You can be, you know, a little bit overweight, but if you're happy and you're confident and you're, you're say, playing the sport that you love, right. that then that's what you need to do. It's just, right. there's not enough of that out there. The kids are just sitting in their rooms and they're not, they're not doing anything. And then the kids that are playing sports, they're getting overworked. Their parents, their coaches, mm -hmm. they're like, no, you need to do this every day, all day. So I can't remember the stat, but most collegiate athletes played three sports mm -hmm. when they were a kid mm -hmm. in elementary school. Wow. Now, you're five years old, you play soccer, you play soccer until the day you die, wow. basically. And yeah. there's repetitive injuries. Right. Um, they don't stretch them enough. They're, it's just like very, very rigid in a lot you know, on their bodies. So, so with a lot of the kids that I work with, they do play sports and they do want to enhance their performance and we can do all those things, Right. but there's also a time for it. And I will shut a parent down if I have to. I'd be like, that's, your child needs the rest. Yeah. You know? That, well, that's what makes you special and makes you unique. Um, so a child comes in and you do a very special assessment and evaluation. Can you walk me through in terms of the steps? So um, I, it wouldn't even just be for a child, for an adult, because I have, I have clients from, you know, say eight years old to 70. Right. Um, but depending on their goals and their needs and stuff, I tailor that assessment to them. So some people want to improve their cardio. I'm going to do a cardio test based on their level of fitness. Most people, um, they don't really run on a treadmill. They're not comfortable, but we can do a one mile walk or we could do a run walk. 
right. run walk or a right. mile and a half run. Right. Based on where you're at. Work on your VO2 max, see how that's doing, and then we'll move over into like strength and endurance kind of assessment. So mm-hmm. basic ones are a push, a pull, and a hip extension. Mm-hmm. So you do all those things. It gives you a baseline. We'll do some core, maybe a plank or some sit-ups and just to right. see, you know, where you're at. Right. And then we'll go on from there. So depending on what we do, some some facilities will have like the Fit 3D scan I was telling you about, right. which is super cool in that game. Right. Um, you get all of your measurements sort of done at once. Yeah. But I will take a tape measure and I will measure your arm if need be. You know, sure. we go on the scale. We have handheld body fat. There's there's tons of ways to get it. What did you say? But basically, uh, for example, I had a 21-year-old girl a couple years ago. She worked at a bakery. Mm-hmm. And all day long, she had to carry these heavy trays from the basement up, you know, to the main area. Right. right. So we did step ups right. while holding a barbell because guess what? She's not going to be like this. She's she's right. not going to be there. Right. And that's how we did it. We we built like her isometric hold of her muscle because that's what she has to do. Sure. So it's really what activities you want to do, your work. Right. Sometimes you're combating things right. that you're working with. Right. You know, if you're in heels all day or if you're sitting at your desk, we, right. we, we have to work on that. Your hip is flexed for sure. eight hours, you know, so no, we uh, need to absolutely. extend that. And different recommendations, I'm always saying with my patients, um, there are different recommendations at different times in your life. I mean, mm-hmm. personally, as an RD and a nutritionist, I run a couple of times a week, five, six miles. I do crunches a couple of times a day, but as I'm getting older, I realize the importance of weights and mm-hmm. the, for maintaining bone density and maintaining that muscle mass and uh, resistance training. Yes. So, um, and you shared with me that if someone comes in, it's very specific and tailored to what their unique needs are, and mm-hmm. it's a very gradual process. Yeah. I mean, if you look at Shows like Biggest Loser that had helped people. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's great. They're there for three months. They have someone making them meals and they get to work out seven hours a day. And then you go home and that's not, that's not how it is. Right. And that changes you, obviously, you know, all the up and down affects your body, you know, chemically. So, um, a more gradual approach makes more sense because it's something that you kind of build up and you, you learn to, like live with and you find enjoyment right. in it. Right. There's no point in doing it right. if you don't enjoy it. And right. most people, they don't enjoy exercising, <laughs> but there's plenty of fun ways to do that. And when you start getting those results, mm-hmm. it kind of becomes part of your lifestyle. And it, and it's a combination or a combination of diversified uh, anaerobic, anaerobic activities. So a couple of times a week, am I correct in terms of cardiovascular and a couple of times a week of weight training and a couple mm-hmm. of, with resistance training? Yeah, so depending on upon like the amount of time you actually have, sure. you can kind of do both right. in the same day. Um, so your cardiovascular endurance, it starts to decrease after 48 hours. So that's why you find ev- every other day people are doing cardio. Right. And a lot of the classes now, there's a lot of hype with like the HIIT training and stuff like that. HIIT training is great. Right. Really, you know, it burns the calories. It keeps you burning afterwards. Sure. But it's very difficult to maintain right. constantly. You can't do that five days a week. Right. You what just, is what is HIIT training? So it basically it's metabolic, you know. So it mixes strength and uh, cardio together, and it's okay. usually very very intense, fast paced type type of things. Right. Um, but anyone can do it to their level. Sure. Right. Because everybody's sure. different. Absolutely. So you know, a HIIT workout for you might seem like someone might look at it and go. Well, that's just crazy. Right. And then I might do something like that's too easy for me. Right. Everybody's different. And, sure. And when you become a good coach, you can see a person. Like, I can have a class of people and, you know, have a basic goal for the class that day. Right. Right. And we're working on it. And I know this one person is, it's too easy for them. So I'm going to be, hey, you know, add that in. And, and then you, no, we're going to regress it this way so that everybody can do it, you mm-hmm. know, to their level. Right. Um, but there's a balance. There's a balance. And you talked about that with the chair. Can right, you share yeah. with my viewers about the chair? So um, basically, if your health is a chair, uh-huh. you have four legs. Right. So straight away, before anything ever happens in life, right, you, you sleep and you eat. Right. Right. As a baby. So two of the most important things, getting adequate sleep and proper nutrition. Then you have your cardiovascular training and your um, resistance training. Uh-huh. You need all of those things. So if you're not focusing on one of them, that chair is going to fall because that leg is uneven. And it's going to tip you over. Right. 
Um, so you have to find like a really good balance of, you know, working all of those things. Sure. Time is usually an issue. Sure. So you can get some cardio in and focus, say, on the upper body if you want. Um, there's diff- Like I said, there's different ways to do it, um, but those are all important. And One chair. of those is off. Yeah. Right. You fall down. Interesting. And what, what are the examples of resistance training? So there's body weight. Okay. Um, you can do stuff anywhere, okay. really. Um, and then, obviously, weight. Uh-huh. But you'd be surprised at how difficult. Like, you could be lifting all these weights, so you're right. pushing 20 pounds over your head, or you're rowing 25 pounds here, and I put you on a TRX, and right. I just say, you know, pull your body up, right. stay straight. You're like, wow, I can't really do that for yes. that long. Yeah. So it's always different. But right. for me, a big thing is functional training. Mm-hmm. You have to be able to move. Mm-hmm. So you have bodybuilders; they look great. They have great muscles. Sure. They can't do much. Right. So for right. me, for my clients, I want sure. mobility. I want flexibility. I want them to be able, like, if they want to go do a Spartan, do it. Right. You know, I, um, I was a member in a place in Connecticut, and we we had women all all ages, and I had one woman that was pretty overweight, another woman that was like 65 years old. And here we are doing obstacles together. Yeah. And one, one of them gave up. She said, I'm not getting over that wall. I was like, yes, you're getting over that wall. Right. And How great. Everybody helped. And then she cried after that. She was like, thank you, you know, for yeah. like helping me through. So, sure. so it basically what I'm saying is it can be done. It has to be balanced. Right. Um, you can't just do one thing. Another person did yoga their whole life. They sure. thin body. Her sister right. never did yoga day in life. Overweight, bone density, right. hundred times better than the yoga person. No offense to yoga. That's so, no, <laughs> so, that's so uh, inspirational, wonderful, because um, I have a lot of uh, uh, kids as clients and I'm always trying to get them something that's tailored specific that meets all their needs as far as being in a school, out of school, physical activity. Mm-hmm. And it's wonderful to know someone that has the expertise that you do. And you walk the walk and talk the talk. Can you tell the viewers mm-hmm. how old you are? Uh, 43. Almost 44. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. um, we have uh, two minutes to sum up. Is there okay. anything last you want to tell my viewers about something uh, coming up? So... Um, a big thing for me is my mom um, passed away from cancer. So I'm, I'm always trying to, you know, support things like that. And we had a young boy in our town, um, Tyler's Campbell. Yeah. So I work a lot at UFC gym. So we are getting together, forming a team. We're raising some money and we're going to run the 5K in September. Well, so it would okay. be great to and that, have a bunch of people join us. That's that. uh, no, it's great. I can't thank you so much for being here. You <laughs> thank did you a great for having job. me. Really <laughs> Uh, remember, um, when we eat well and feel great, it's something we want to do for the rest of our life. Uh, I want to thank my crew. Uh, any further information about the 5K um, in help, uh, what Jennifer Vianney is saying, can be found on our website. Thank you so much. Have a nice evening.